Welcome to Demountable Concepts Straight Truck Training Video. Its goals are to show you how to safely and efficiently operate demountable equipment. The components of this system include demountable containers, standard truck bodies equipped with retractable legs so they can be swapped between trucks and trailers and be loaded without the truck present, straight trucks with a hydraulic lifting and locking system installed on their chassis for mounting, demounting, and transporting containers, the tractor trailer that mounts, demounts, and line hauls multiple containers to a remote location. Before we begin, let's review some important safety information. Warning. An improperly secured container that falls off a truck can result in injury or death. Do not drive the straight truck with the containers unlocked. Do not pull out from a standing container before checking that all the legs are set. Drivers are responsible for making sure the container is properly secured to the truck before each trip. All people must be clear of the vehicle when mounting and demounting. Read and understand all operating instructions and safety labels on the equipment. Do not operate equipment without proper training from demountable concepts or an authorized training provider. Section 1. Demounting the Container As a professional driver, you should always have a good, tight-fitting pair of work gloves, a flashlight, and a rubber mallet for cold weather operations. Back into the designated drop position or loading dock. This area should be level, flat, and solid enough to support the weight of the demounted container. If it's not possible to be on level ground, the legs can be pinned at different heights to accommodate any irregularities. Inside the cab, start the truck, engage the parking brake. Press the chassis lift power button on the dash. In some cases, lowering the air suspension before demounting will result in lower standing heights to get the container's floor closer to dock height. If applicable, go to the rear of the truck and unlock and lower the lift gate so it clears the container when pulling the truck out from under a standing container. Go to the lift controls located on the driver's side. Locate and disconnect the light plug on the container and store it in the storage holder on the chassis. At the lifter control box, remove the locking key from the container locking assembly. Next, push the safety handle inward to release the locking assembly. Now, lower the locking bar by pushing it down. This will release the hooks from the container. Now the container is no longer locked to the truck. The alarm in the cab will flash and make a sound. This will continue until the locking assembly is engaged. Warning. Do not tamper with the warning system. Doing so can result in injury or death. Open the small control box and press the up button to raise the container. The container is normally raised about six inches above the truck frame. Lifting height will vary based on your particular operation. Now you are ready to set the legs. Always wear gloves to protect your hands while working with legs and never put your fingers into the holes in the legs. Start with the passenger side front container leg. Unlock and remove the chained pin from the foot of the leg. If you are right hand dominant, stand to the side of the leg with your left shoulder facing the container. If you are left hand dominant, stand to the side of the leg with your right shoulder facing the container. Grab the leg by the bottom of the foot pad and pull the leg partially out. Adjust the lower leg by removing the small pin and resetting it into a predetermined hole. Experience shows that the fourth hole works best for most trailer operations because the container needs to stand higher to be mounted by the semi-trailer. Remove the small pin. This setting is zero. Count four holes and reinsert the pin. If you are demounting at a loading dock, a different hole may work better. When you determine the best pin setting for your equipment, have a maintenance person mark all the legs at that position. Now, continue to pull the leg out and lower it to the vertical position. Do not drop the leg assembly. Put the chained pin through the upper brace and leg. Push the leg assembly into the housing until the brace touches the container side rail. Repeat this procedure for all legs on the container. Before lowering the container, be sure that all the legs are in their proper position with leg pins locked and the light plug disconnected. If other people are helping, be sure everyone is standing clear. Return to the control box and lower the lift assembly by pressing the down button in the control box. 
be sure to lower the chassis lift until it makes contact with the top of the truck's frame rails. You will hear the lift motor change tone when it contacts the top of the chassis frame. Check that there is proper clearance the entire length of the truck. Double check to be sure the light plug is disconnected from the container and inserted into the storage holder. Check that the locking hooks are unlocked and in the down position. Check that you have set all the legs and they are pinned correctly. Not setting all the legs will result in damage, injury, or death due to a falling container. Return to the cab of the truck. After double checking that all people and objects are clear, pull straight out until the chassis is clear of the container. Do not turn the wheel until you are free and clear of the standing container. Note that the alarm and light will continue until another container is properly secured to the chassis. Section 2. Inspecting Demountable Equipment Now is a good time to check out the Demountable Concepts equipment. Without a container attached, you can see how the hooks raise and lower. There are grease fittings at all locking shafts, and you can have your maintenance department consult our maintenance guide for proper periodic maintenance. Note how the hooks look when they're properly raised. If you ever notice the hooks are not rising all the way, tell your supervisor immediately. Note the container stops. These stops are important as they take a lot of strain off of the hooks. Be sure they are intact. Note the light plug. It should be clean and in good working order. Please consult our maintenance manual for additional and complete information. Always tell your supervisor if anything is abnormal or not working properly with your chassis lift or demountable container. Section 3. Mounting a Freestanding Container We are now ready to mount a freestanding container. If applicable, unlock and lower the lift gate so it clears the container when backing under it. When mounting a container, make sure the locking hooks are in the unlocked and down position. The in-cab container lock alarm will sound until a container is locked to the chassis. Your truck is equipped with two floodlights operated by a switch located near the in-cab cab warning buzzer. Turn them on before backing up. Line up the truck chassis so it's straight in line with the guide rails at the front of the container. If you dumped your air suspension during the demounting process, be sure the air suspension is lowered. Slowly back the truck straight under the container. Do not oversteer while backing up. If the truck and container are not properly lined up, it is important to pull out and correct your alignment. If you are unsure about your alignment, remember GOAL. Remember G-O-A-L goal, get out and look. Failure to get out and look when backing under is the number one cause of damage. The best time to check your alignment is after the rear tires pass the front legs. That's the most efficient spot to decide whether you can adjust your angle or if you have to pull the chassis out and reposition. Once you are sure of your alignment, back up until the front stops on the lifter gently contact the front of the container. Set the parking brake, put the truck in neutral or park, and keep the engine running. Be sure the power button is in the on position. Go to the front of the container and check to be sure the steel plates are touching the chassis lift wing plates. If they are not touching, it will be very difficult to properly lock the container on. If necessary, reposition the truck. Go to the rear of the truck and check to be sure it's aligned straight under the guide rails before lifting the container. Walk to the control box and press the up button to raise the lift until all four legs are off the ground. Go to the passenger side of the container and begin storing the legs. If right hand dominant, stand to the side of the leg with your left shoulder facing the container. If left hand dominant, stand to the side of the leg with your right shoulder facing the container. Remove the chained pin from the stabilizing brace. While holding the leg brace, lift the entire leg horizontally and slide it partially into the leg housing. Remove the lower leg pin. Slide the inner leg in and place the small pin through the inner and outer leg hole at zero. Slide the entire leg into the housing. When storing legs, watch your hand position. We recommend making a fist and pushing in the leg. This eliminates the chance of pinching your fingers. Lock each leg by inserting the chained pin through the retainer on the container and the loop on the leg's foot pad. Finish by flipping the lock into place. 
Work your way around the container to the driver's side until all the legs are stored and secured. If other people are helping, be sure everyone is standing clear of the container. Return to the control box and lower the chassis lift until it is completely down on the truck's frame. You will hear the lift motor change tone when it contacts the top of the chassis frame. Lock the container onto the truck by raising the locking bar to engage the locking hooks. When the locking bar is fully raised, the spring-loaded safety handle will move into place. Insert the safety locking key. A secondary clip or padlock may be utilized to ensure the key stays in place. Now that the locking hooks are engaged, the in-cab alarm will stop sounding and flashing. Remove the light plug from the holder and plug it into the receptacle. Confirm that the container is locked onto the truck by visually checking that locking hooks are securely attached to the locking bars on the underside of the container. If your truck is equipped with a lift gate, raise and lock the gate in its normal ride position. Also, if other people are helping, be sure everyone is standing clear. Return to the cab. Inflate your air suspension if dumped. The truck is now ready to be driven. Section 4. Demounting for Warehouse on Wheels Operation if your company has a warehouse on wheels operation, properly demounting the container from the straight truck takes on an added importance, resulting in a few more steps we will address here. The warehouse on wheels semi-trailer does not have as much up and down travel as your straight truck, so it's vital to pin your legs at the proper height when demounting. The leg pin setting is usually the fourth hole for the semi-trailer operation. If this is the proper setting, have your maintenance person mark that setting. If you're the first driver back at the end of the day, simply demount your container in the designated drop area following the instructions in the demounting section of this video. If you're the second driver returning to the drop yard, properly aligning your container with the first container is your responsibility. This step is critical to the success of the semi-trailer operation. If you have a driver helper, they must get out of the truck and direct you with backing up from the side where you can easily see them. Do not have the helper stand between your truck and the standing container. This could result in injury or death. Your goal is to position the truck in a straight line directly in front of the previous demounted container. Slowly back up until there is contact between the bumpers on the containers. Check to see that the bumpers on the left and right sides of the front and rear containers contact each other and are properly aligned. If one set of bumpers is making contact and the other is not, the container is not straight and must be repositioned. Remember, it's critical that there's little or no gap between the bumpers. After you've determined that the container is straight and properly aligned with the first container, go through the standard steps for demounting. Add the following to your federal pre-trip inspection. Visually confirm container is properly locked onto the truck chassis. The hooks on the locking mechanism must be engaged over the locking bar on the container. All legs must be properly stowed with leg pins secured. The light plug must be plugged into the container and lights must be functional. The in-cab alarm must work properly. When container is unlocked, the alarm sounds and flashes. Be sure that each driver who will be operating demountable equipment is given ample time to practice. Immediately report any vehicle deficiencies or damage to your supervisor. Thank you for your time and attention.